Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So this reading is going to be for the collective, okay? It can be anybody from Aries to Pisces, okay? Uh, this reading is general. If you guys are interested in celebrity tarot readings, on my other channel, Celebrity Tarot Readings, I am doing 31 days of tarot, okay? So there will be a new video over there every day. But um, I felt called to come to this channel uh, because... I just, I don't know. I'm going to see what spirit wants you all to know. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe if it resonates. Dear God, give me the most clear and precise messages for the collective. What does the collective need to know the most at this time? What does the collective need to know the most at this time, please? You got wisdom, okay? So some of you all are learning some lessons from a past situation that you all have experienced. This is some this is something that is going to be important for you all moving forward, okay? Some of you are learning at this time um, to create healthy boundaries for yourselves. Uh, some of you all are learning at this time who and what not to entertain moving forward, okay? Some of you all, these may have been some very painful lessons that you have learned in love and in life, okay? You also have Celtic here, okay? Some of you all, uh, because of this situation, you may have become more spiritual. You may be looking for guidance. This could be one of the reasons why you all are here now looking at this reading, trying to figure out who you are, where your place is in this world, why God is calling you or whomever it is that you believe in why you've been seeing those angel numbers, why things in your life just don't make sense, why things in your life have been stagnant, why people have treated, treated you the certain way that they have. You know, why do you have to keep going through these trials? Why do you have to keep going through these tribulations? And what Spirit is wanting you to know is that those who are chosen sometimes go through the hardest challenges. But Spirit is telling you, do not give up. There is going to be a blessing in this lesson. You also have ships, okay? So like I said, some of you all, you're going through a journey in your life. You're going through your spiritual uh, journey. You're waking up. Your third eye is opening. For some of you all, you have gone through multiple spiritual journeys at this time. And it seems like I just keep coasting through life or I keep going through these situations. I feel the turbulence that's going on. I'm, some of you all could be feeling sick. You could be feeling ill. Um, I do feel that somebody is experiencing morning sickness. They may have been wondering, excuse me, if they are pregnant and spirit is saying to this person, um, you are going to be bringing a child into this life. OK, um, for those who um, for the males that I'm speaking to in this reading, you have been wondering whether or not the person that you were involved with is pregnant and spirit is giving you another sign that this is a yes. Also, some of you all could be traveling a lot during this time or you're planning on traveling. Of course, we are coming up on the holiday season. All right. Some of you all have been thinking of doing something different outside the norm. You know, I'm always with my family. We're at the table. We're doing the same thing. We're going to Nima's house. I want to do something different. This year, I want to take a boat. I, I keep getting um the Disney Cruise Line. Somebody may have gotten, oh, I just saw 333 three, three on the clock, okay? Somebody's definitely getting on the Disney Cruise Line and they are going and they are going to have an amazing time. I get that some people, they're just traveling to and doing things differently, getting to know and meeting different people. All right, some of you all could also be going on a spiritual quest. All right, you may be traveling with other people. Um, all of you all could be a part of a spiritual group, all right? Some of you all may be excited because you ended up finding your tribe, and now you're traveling with this tribe. Some people may have um, not had anybody, no, you know, no family or anybody that they can lean on, and then you ended up meeting this group of people, or you will meet this group of people, and things in your life are going to be so much more easier moving forward. Now, I did mention seeing 333 in the reading, so I want to go specifically into what this could be meaning for some of you all. Again, you may be seeing 333 a lot, and you're like, why do I keep seeing these numbers? What the heck is freaking wrong with me, okay? And like I said, some of you all 
all are learning a lot at this time, okay? About who you are, about who to trust, etc. 333 means I am powerful. So that means that somebody that I'm talking to at some point, you have felt powerless, okay? You may have felt powerless in a relationship, powerless at a job. Some of you all may have lost a job. Some of you all may have lost a lover, okay? Some of you all may have lost the support of family and friends. And this is why this card is here. You may be feeling down, but spirit is saying, remember that you are powerful. Remember that you're being called upon at this time because I want you to use your spiritual gifts. Some of you all may have wondered, why do I always feel so different from everybody else? Okay. Notice that this is a unicorn. Okay. Very unique ind individuals. I feel like I'm speaking to, I feel like I'm speaking to people that are the black sheeps of their families, the ones that have the taboo jobs that other people are like, why do you read cards? Why do you have conversations with the dead? You know, like, who are you? Why are you weird? Why are you different? Why did you not fit the mold? Why are you not like everybody else? Why can't you be a doctor like your brother? Why can't you be a nurse like your sister? Okay. And I feel like for some of you all, you're starting to realize, damn it, I'm powerful. I do have a gift. I am special. I am unique. And that's what makes me who I am. Okay. So again, um, he's calling on you, all right, to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker assisting all of humanity and it's time for you to live in your truth collective and be a positive light to others okay it's time to be a positive light to others some of you all may have been ignoring these messages all right um could have been the opposite of this okay because of the things that you may have been going through you may have been taking it out on other people angry frustrated bitter behind situations not working out the way that you want them to. But Spirit says, that's not who you are at your core. And I'm not going to allow you to allow situations, people, your past, your childhood, etc., to change you from who you are at your core. You're not having those dreams for no reason. You're not seeing those signs in your life for no reason. You're seeing them because I'm calling you because it's time for you to go in the direction of which I am sending you. Okay? You're not like the others. Some of you all could be of Asian descent, okay? Some of you all could be traveling, like I mentioned. Uh, some of you all could be traveling through Asia. Some of you all could just be wondering, why do I have this connection to Asian artifacts? Why am I so fascinated with this culture, the different cultures of Asia? And Spirit is saying that for some of you all, this is who and what you represent in your past life, okay? Okay. You could have been a warrior, you could have been a king, you could have been a queen, whatever the case may be. Spirit is calling you to wake up to your authentic authenticity, excuse me, in this life. Okay? Doesn't matter, male or female. I'm speaking to somebody. Oh. Again, I get a strong energy of people that feel isolated and they feel alone in this world. People have turned their backs on them. Some people's parents have turned their backs on them. Some people may have never even met their parents. I may be speaking to somebody who's been adopted. Okay, some of you all may not be speaking to your partner at this time. You may feel like you're not on the same page as your partner. Your partner may not understand your spiritual journey. Your family, your friends, your co-workers, somebody doesn't understand your spiritual journey. And because of this, let me tell you, what people fear, what people don't understand, they fear they turn their backs against, okay? There are some people that do not understand why all of a sudden you're talking about spirituality, why all of a sudden you're talking about tarot, why all of a sudden you feel confident and impassioned and you're talking about yourself in a good light. These people were used to you feeling down about yourself. These people were used to you being low-hanging fruit, but you're like, I'm not that person anymore. I know my value. I know my worth. I know who I am and I know where I'm going. Even if you don't see it yet, I know where I'm going, okay? You don't have to go on this journey with me. I'll go by myself. Some of you all have been so codependent for so long, it's hard for you to even get up and go to a grocery store by yourself. I've been that way before. I had to have people around me all the time in order for me to do anything. And I said, what the hell am I doing? You can go through this life. That doesn't mean that you're lonely if you go through this life alone. You're strong if you're able to do that. 
And this is something that I feel like some people are waking up to. All right. Some of you all could be of Native American descent. Some of you all, again, I keep feeling like there are some people that have some ties to this and they don't understand why. What is it about this culture? What is it about these things that I feel this strong pull towards? Yeah, you cannot make this up. Bottom of the deck, wars and battles. The wars and battles are over. It's over. Somebody's leaving an abusive relationship. Somebody's leaving narcissistic parents, narcissistic siblings, narcissistic lovers, leaving them behind. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to fight. I'm not a fighter. I don't deal with drama. I don't want to keep dealing with drama. I don't want to be around these type of people. Every time we go somewhere, they want to fight people. They want to act a fool. They want to, you know, raise it up and cause a scene. This is not me anymore. I'm grown. I'm mature. I'm, I'm past that point. It's just not who I am anymore. Wow. I just got a strong message as well. If you look at this, if you see up here, it looks what appears to be a Confederate flag. I feel like there's somebody, because of the way that they grew up, they may have hated people simply for the color of their skin, but on the inside, they knew who this, this is, wasn't who they are at their core. I'm not racist. I'm not this type of person that hate people. I don't want to be like this. This is what I was forced to believe. This is what I was forced to do in my life. Somebody's turning their life around and realizing this is not me. I don't want to just get out here in this world and just hate people. Hurt people hurt people. Somebody's tired of being in this mode. Somebody's also tired of being in victim mode. Somebody is ready to forgive themselves and they're ready to forgive others. For some of you all, the person that you have to forgive is no longer on this earth. This could have been somebody that hurt you in some way, shape, or form, and you had to forgive them. I got to let this person go. This is freeing if I let this person go. Just like you see these birds that are soaring in the sky. There's freedom and forgiveness. You don't forgive them for them. You forgive them for you. But see, you're still on this earth and you still got a lot of living to do. And the last thing that you need to do in this world is still be tied to somebody. They don't have control over your life. You do. Again, there are some people that are going to turn their back on you because of what you're spiritually being pulled towards. Let me tell you something. When God calls you, ain't no more running. Ain't no more running. Only running he wants you to do is towards that light, towards him. Seek your salvation here. Don't worry about these people that are trying to stop you from getting to this particular place here. I got you. All the sticks and stones that they throw, all the magic that they think that they can use is going to backfire and it's going to hit them. This is why you be mindful of how you treat people because everything that you throw out into this world is going to come back to you good or bad. Some of you all need to get out into nature. Some of y'all may have been spending a lot of time in the house. Some of you all know that winter fall is upon us. Okay, and this is the time of year where you get a lot of people that suffer with depression. They go through periods of the blues. They start thinking about the family members that are no longer here. Your spirit guides are saying, get out of that house. Get active, get grounded. Heal from whatever it is that you're going through and keep moving forward. What are some lessons the collective is learning at this time? What are some lessons that the collective is learning at this time, please? It's time for you to expand. You're being asked to expand. You live in a huge world with endless possibilities and staying safe and staying safe and unknown is no longer working for you. It's time to make your world just a little bit bigger. It's time for you to imagine the possibilities and go for them. Like I said, staying in that bubble, staying in the house, keep doing the same old thing over and over as the days go by is no longer working. 1414 is on the clock. It's time for you to get up and make a move. Even if you just take a walk around the block. Even if you just go to your local park, somebody has got to get out of that sedentary energy. 
sitting in the room every day, staring at those four walls is not going to change your situation. It's not going to change your outcome. It's not going to bring that person back. You have got to be able to continue to live even when it feels like it's impossible. I'm speaking to somebody that needs to go seek help, okay? You may need to speak to a therapist. You may need to speak to a psychologist. You may need to re reach out, speak to a family member, speak to a friend. Somebody needs to know how you've isolated yourself and that it's time for you to get out of this energy. You cannot make this up. Bottom of the deck says speak up. Somebody's throat chakra is closed. Somebody needs to open that throat chakra. When it's closed, you're shy. You're afraid to speak up. If you say something, you're scared of what the outcome is going to be in regards to a situation. You may tell little white lies because of the fact that you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. F they feelings. It's time for you to start speaking up and telling people the truth. I think you're arrogant. I think you're self-centered. I'm tired of dealing with your mess. I'm tired of cleaning up behind you. I'm tired of you not helping on the bills. All right. I'm tired of sleeping with you and there's no commitment here. I'm tired of being with you and there's no ring. I'm over it. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Honestly, I would feel a whole lot better if you weren't here. Somebody needs to hear the truth. Sometimes when you tell a person the truth, it makes that person shape up and turn their life around. But you're not here to wait and see if somebody else is going to change. You can change your outcome at any time. You're not stuck in a situation. You're not stuck with a man. Where's that card, matter of fact? Somebody is living with someone at this time, okay? You are living with somebody and you are miserable. The only reason for some of you all that this person is still there is because they help with the bills, only reason you're still with this person is because you don't want to tell everybody else that that you're um that you're miserable, that you're unhappy, that you don't want to be married to this person because you got an image that you feel like you need to uphold. F that image. You're miserable. This person, you and this person is living two totally different lives. This person out here getting ass from somebody, you probably out there getting ass from somebody. And both of y'all come back home to each other. Y'all miserable, y'all don't even speak. Some of y'all don't even walk past each other when you get home. Somebody lives on the top floor. Other person lives on the bottom floor. This is not living. Somebody, their partner pays them absolutely no mind. You spent all this time cleaning the house. You spent all that time cooking. You spent all that time taking care and looking after the kids for those of you all that have children. And you don't even get a simple thank you. Thank you for laying out my clothes for tomorrow. Thank you for packing my lunch for tomorrow. Thank you for just being there and supporting me when I need to go through things. This person don't even know you suffer with depression. This person don't even know you suffer with anxiety. This person doesn't even know that you contemplated suicide. It's time to wake up, collective. It's time to wake up. When that throat chakra is open, whoo, baby, it comes with peace. It comes with truth because you're going to speak your truth when that throat chakra is open. It comes with good communication. It comes with you setting boundaries. It comes with you being strong. It comes with self-expression. Are you ready for that? What are you not saying that's eating you up inside is what spirit is asking you. What are you not saying? You can't keep this in forever. It's time to let it out so that you can move on and be happy. Somebody just want to be happy. Give me the collective's current energy, please. You got to ask that you give me the collective's current energy. Give me some more messages for the collective. Give me some more messages, please, for the collective. More messages for the collective, please. What are some cold hard truths the collective need to know? You gotta ask what are some cold hard truths the collective needs to know. dropping stuff. I feel like I need to pull something else before I go any further. Yeah. 
And God, I ask that you give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time, please, for the collective. Clear and precise messages for the collective. If you guys are enjoying this reading so far, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I would really appreciate that. Clear and precise messages for the collective. Clear and precise messages for the collective. Some of y'all need to let go of that toxic man. You got to let him go. You all tied up with this person. Spirit said, I didn't told you plenty of times. I done made you uncomfortable. 23 breaks down to five. I've made you uncomfortable plenty of times in regards to this person. How many times you going to let them cheat on you? How many times you going to let them have a baby on you? How many times you going to let them put their hands on you? How many times you going to let them neglect you and your children? Spirit said, I told you over and over again, let this toxic man go. What do I need to do next to show you that you need to run? I don't care how long you've known this person. I don't care about your history with this person. This man is toxic. This man is in and out of jail for some of you all. This man that gave you an STD. This man, you didn't have unwanted pregnancies with this person. They all, this person disappears on you while you're pregnant. For some of you all heavily pregnant. I mentioned earlier in this reading, somebody is nauseous and they're scared they may be pregnant by this toxic man. Spirit said, this comes from the fact that I've told you over and over again to leave this man behind. Whew, somebody need to hear that. Oh, that came out strong. All right. <clears throat> Give me the most clear and precise messages. These readings are not to, meant to hurt anybody. I just speak the truth. It comes out blunt. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time, please, for the collective. Clear and precise messages for... The collective. Clear and precise messages for 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 the collective. You're supposed to learn your lesson with this person. You keep repeating patterns with this person. You can't keep blaming everybody else, okay? It's everybody else's fault. It's not yours. Spirit says you're a grown-ass adult. You need to stop blaming other people for your shit. Somebody needs to hear that. messages for the collective. Clear and precise messages for the collective, please. For some of you all, you got involved with this person when you were very young. Some of you all could have gotten involved with this person when you were a virgin. Okay, and this is the only person you've ever known or the only person you've ever been intimate with. Spirit says that's not the only man or woman you're going to ever love. Spirit says this is correct. Okay, number 11. Spirit says somebody needs to start trusting their intuition. Okay, and when you start listening to your intuition, this is going to be your energy. Free, happy, excited. Okay, that you've listened to the messages and you continue to move forward despite the setbacks in your life. Spirit says you also need to trust in your divine purpose because that 34 breaks down to seven, okay? You are being deceived if you feel that this person in your life is going to change is what Spirit is saying. This experience has divine timing. Healing will come and know that you are on the right path, okay? If you have to keep asking tarot readers whether or not this person is your person, Spirit says this ain't your person. Stop deceiving yourself. This is not your person. Community, again, I feel like there are some people, you need to be mindful of the company you keep. We're looking at another seven. Seven could indicate deception or deception of self, okay? Some of you all, there could be some females that you have close company with. But for some of you all, what I'm also getting is that you have, you have either a good circle of people around you that you need to lean on, and some of you all have a good circle around you that you need to start being honest with. 
Y'all need to be telling this person, these people the truth. I'm not happy. I'm depressed. I'm miserable. I hate this man. I hate this woman. I hate my situation. I'm tired. I'm contemplating taking my life. Somebody needs to be honest. Okay? These people are not going to judge you. They're not going to make fun of you. They're going to wrap their arms around you. They're going to be your prayer circle. But you've got to open up that throat chakra and let people in so that that chapter can close out. If you want fulfillment and harmony in your life, you got to start being honest first with yourself. I can't get past the betrayal. Some of you all, you can't get past what you found out about your lover. Okay, you cannot continue going on on Instagram pretending everything is happy and faking it till you make it with this connection. This person broke your heart because they are not the type to settle down. They may have settled down. They may have told you this is what they want, but their actions are showing you otherwise. Don't ignore your intuition. This person is dating around. Anytime you wonder when some ain't cleaning the buttermilk, take a look at those texts and no phone calls. Kissing a dog is secrets. This person is hiding somebody else. For some of you all, you're needing to hear this, okay? You've fallen for this person, but guess what? You can fall for somebody else. Spirit said, fall in love with yourself. You have, I miss hearing your voice. This person could have came back during the Mercury and retrograde. Could be dealing with a Taurus because we got, are you hungry? This is my Taurus card. This person may have asked you out on a date. Things may have started back up again with this toxic man. I always tell people to be mindful of the company that you keep because it starts to affect other areas of your life. If you have somebody in your life and all of a sudden all your abundance start going out the door, you done lost your job, you can't keep money in your account, shit has been happening, folks have been harassing you, all these things going on, pay attention to the person that's laying next to you. Trust me, it'll start connecting a whole bunch of dots. In due time, okay? Somebody's being told in due time, hanging around with the wrong company is going to yield some uncomfortable results, okay? Spirit is saying somebody new is out there. I can treat you better. Somebody can have medium length hair. It's time. Somebody's going to be leveling up after they leave a bad investment. Missed opportunity, okay? Somebody did not deserve or does not deserve a second chance in your life, okay? Spirit says, love yourself. All right, give some, get some. Y'all got love coming in. The thing is, what do you need to leave behind? You have stopped texting, stop stalking, stop checking up on that person, just freaking stop. You need to spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. You have hiding in plain sight. Again, I mentioned that this lesson is complete. Spirit says you need to dead this situation with this person. Turn it to a cold case. It needs to be over. Some of you all could be Gemini. Some of you all could be Cancer. Some of you all could be dealing with these two astrological signs. Something significant could have happened in June of 2023. Also, something significant can happen June of 2021. I'm going to make this a part two because this camera is about to close out. If you're still with me, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's go to the next video.